Hi everybody, Joe Broncato, the air gun scientist here at the Skunk Works Lab. And we're starting off a video series called Short Shots. So the gist of the short shots are just two minute informative videos. It might be on a product, it might be on a technique, it might be on how to shoot, but we're gonna keep them very short, two, three minutes max. So this is one of them today. Today's short shots, or short shot, uh, topic is lubrication of your ammo. The best thing and the worst thing you can do for accuracy. Now, if you shoot either pellets or slugs, as I said before, one of the best and worst things you can do is lubricate. Now, let's put the bad part out first. Why could it be one of the worst things? Well, if you're like many of us, you um, over lubricate. Man, some guys will just flood them with lubrication and it's uh, the mess that it creates throws the bullet's weight off, especially when you're shooting a smaller pellet, and uh, not a good thing. So it can actually hinder your uh, accuracy. Also, you want to uh, use the proper lubrication. For instance, if you use a volatile lubricant, and I use the word lubricant in quotes because WD-40 is not a lubricant, but that's the one I'm going to specifically mention. People think it is, it's a water displacement, uh, and it gums up anyway. Don't use something like WD-40, that's volatile, you don't wanna use it. Something like Ballistol or Ballistol, however you wanna pronounce it. Uh, just light, what I used to do is I'd open up the tops, I'd spray the foam fairly heavily and just let the pellets kind of move around, throw some in, throw some more, throw some in, so that I never actually directly sprayed the pellets. And uh, same thing you could do with your, uh, now when you're talking a 50 caliber slug, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but when you're talking something like a, you know, 30 or 35, it, you don't want to get them overly lubricated, okay? So we're just going to mention that. That's our short tip for today. Lubrication of pellets, excellent for accuracy, possibly terrible for accuracy. Uh, oh, and an announcement. The Patriot Javelin slugs are coming out. So stay tuned. We're going to have a series of videos, um, upcoming tests showing accuracy of the various uh, slugs that they offer. Now, right now we have the 22 caliber in either 0.217 or 0.218. And we'll show to you which one of those two is better for your FX gun, if you have an FX uh, or other guns. Uh, they come in 23 grain, both sizes, uh, 2017 or 218, uh, 26, 30, and 34. So that's our video. We want to keep it under three minutes. Uh, we had the little intro there uh, describing our short shots. Let us know what you think about the short shots. Um, do you like them? Do you like this short, quick format? We will be having longer videos with the tests. In fact, be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> I can never remember that. I, mean, I just write it down here. No, seriously though. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to our videos because we will be doing the upcoming tests on the uh, Patriot Javelins. And if you really want to find out how they are, give us a, give us a, a like and a share and a follow and, all, and a high five and all that other kind of stuff. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe, yeah. And don't, for thanks Alex. And don't forget, let us know in the comments below. Short shots, yes or no? Remember, we'll still have the longer videos, but short shots will be coming out more often because they're short and easy to do and informative. Take care, God bless. This is Joe Broncato, the air gun scientist saying, Shoot straight.